Hey, are you someone who's always been interested in software development but just don't know where to start? Or perhaps you feel a bit intimidated by the idea of coding because you think you are not good at maths? Or maybe you must have watched those Hollywood movies where you have seen people typing on the speed of light where programmers are typing like a magical thing and you thought, wow, but that's not for me. It's really hard, right? But here's the truth. Coding is a creative and accessible skill that anyone can learn regardless of your background. So whether you are an absolute beginner or someone who just believes that they are not good at maths or just someone who is very much afraid for taking that first step, this video is for you. In this video, we are going to learn the world of HTML tags and to help you to conquer your fear of coding. HTML tags are the building blocks of a web page you visit on the internet. And trust me, understanding of HTML tags is just like learning alphabet of web development. By the end of this video, you will be amazed to see that how much you have learned and you will be inspired to continue your coding journey. Now let's together conquer those fears, shatter those doubts and most importantly, unleash your coding potential. Okay, so let's just start. I'll just take a boiler plate. So you don't have to be worried about anything which you are seeing for the very first time. Okay, so I'm going to explain you each and everything. So let's just first see the tag that is called doc type. So name itself says that the doc type, which means document type. So here in our code, the doc type is HTML. So this is what doc type tag is. Whatever you are seeing in red or dark pink, it uh, these all are tags only. What are they that I'm going to explain you? So first, I already explained you about the doc type. Second, we'll see that is HTML. So what is this? So HTML tag represent the whole content of, uh, you can say it uh, just, it is the root of the document, HTML document, right? So let's just talk about the tag name HTML. So HTML tag is a root of the whole HTML document. So whatever uh, is there um, in the doc, it is the root of the same. So talking about the tag name head, so it represents the metadata about the whole HTML document such as title or maybe style references. So it includes that only. Now moving on to the tag name that is meta. So it represents the metadata of the HTML document. This is what metadata tag is. Moving on to the title one, the tag name title. So name itself says that something uh, which is giving title to something, right? The name to something. So let's say our parent give a name to us. So this is how we are giving name to our document. So let's say if I'll just rename this doc, as you can see here, it is just written document. So if I'll save my code, here you can see uh, it will be Ananya document, right? So this is how we can give the title. You can uh, change this icon also that we will learn later on in other videos. As of now, uh, we can just change the title of the uh, file. Now let's just talk about the tag name that is body. So body contains the whole content of our HTML document. So whatever we are going to do in our uh, document, everything will come under body. So this is what um, body is like, you know, we have our body and everything is inside our body, right? Nothing is outside. So in the document, same we have. So this is what body tag is. Recording in progress. So these were few of the example of a basic tags which are actually very important uh, and are a part of uh, a boilerplate which we uh, need whenever we are running our file on the browser. So I'll be moving forward with some other tags. So first tag I'll talk about that is H1. So what is this H1? This is heading one. So let's say if I'll write hello world and I'll save my code. Yes, so you will be able to see that hello world is visible and it's quite bold and bigger font, right? So this is what H1 is. Followed by this only we have tag H2, we have uh, H3 and then we have H4 
I will show you the uh, difference between all these. Don't worry about that. At six, so you can create multiple um, what you can say multiple arrow by clicking on Shift and Alt. So if I'll write hello people, I am heading, and I'll save my code. So as you can see, there is a change, right? So I'll change uh, this H1 also so that you will be able to see the um, different and the same output. So yes, you must be able to see that there is a, a font size decreasing by the number. Let's say if it is S6, this is very small, right? So this is what the difference between heading one, heading two, heading three, and so on. So these were few of the example of. Uh, tag h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 also h6 so we'll be seeing other tags that is let's say uh, tag name p that is paragraph p represent paragraph so let's say hey i am paragraph i'll save my so as you can see, there's a bit change in the font style, also the font size, right? Uh, this is uh, changed, totally changed because we are having paragraph tags. So you must have seen uh, these paragraph tags on many websites, right? So you must not be aware that what they are using, but this is what they are using. That is called paragraph. Now let's move forward. Uh, so you must have seen something on the website that you know something is written in a bullet points like point one, point two, point three, right? So what does we call it? What do we call it? So we call it UL and OL followed by LI. So these are three things. I'll tell you what are these. So this is a tag name that is UL. So this is called unordered list, and we can have list inside it so li represent a list the tag name li this represent list now what is ol the tag name ol that represent ordered list and then tag name li that is list again shows the list part so i'll just show you hey i am list save so as you can see this is coming in bullet point right so this one is coming from this ordered list this is a difference between unordered and ordered list so i'll just say hey i am ordered list ordered list and save not lost it's list so you must be able to see the difference right so in unordered list we always have the list in the bullet point this is what you saw on the website and in ordered list uh, you have it in a number way let's number one number two like that only like the pointers and all nothing much in that so it represent uh, order unordered also the list way so these were few of the example moving on we have one another tag that is tag name anchor tag so uh, we use a for that so that is anchor tag now here you can have one url let's say google i have so i'll just give it a reference and i'll save my code and here if i'll go and i'll say hey i will go to google and i'll save it uh, this so if i'll click on this this will redirect me to the google so whenever you will uh, get linked to a different page or something uh, we have used the anchor tag there so this is what we use whenever we are linking any file so there we use anchor tag okay next what we have is the tag name that is img stands for image so here you have seen two another things are there that is src and alt right so what is this src src means the source so where uh, from this image coming from so let's say if i'll copy the address of this image and i'll just paste it here uh, let's say paste and save so you must be able to see the image right so here the image came so you can design it you can style it that we will learn later on moving forward uh, in the course so i'll just uh, move forward so this was the image tag which we have seen 
now i'll move forward and i'll teach you some of the advanced tag not advanced as in advanced uh, but some of the useful tags okay so we have seen uh, basic tags also we have understood how the boiler plate is working right we have seen lot of things now we'll be seeing different kind of tags so here i'll just uh, change the name of my document from form i'll do it table as i'll be teaching you uh, the table thing so again i'll take a boiler plate so here i'm going to take the tag name that is table so here table so you must have seen the column and rows on some website right on your report card also some table used to come like this subject this much marks and this much semesters you have worked this this uh, things right so uh, this is going to be the same table and here we have tr which represent a, a table row and then we have td which represent table column and then inside it we have th which represent uh, the header shell so this is the shell uh, header shell so um, i'll just style it a bit so that you must be able to see it on a screen one second here i have styled it a bit so about this styling you don't have to be worry we will be learning all this moving forward so here i have given some of the style to this table so that it can be visible for you to see that how this table looks like so this is tr th and also td which is a uh, table column right so these are few of the examples of uh, the table so you can uh, just explore a bit whenever you are doing any experiment or something so you can just go ahead and you can just play around so if i'll just show you if i'll change a bit let's say 150 or i'll say 150 and i'll save so you can see the changes right also i can make it maybe 5 pixel so uh, this is the border so uh, you can change according to yourself so you can play around you can practice also whenever you are exploring you can check all these so now let's just talk about the different kind of um, tags which we use in our daily life but we are not aware of that what are they so first of all i'll go with the tag name that is form so you must have filled a form many times online for your bank work for your college work for your school work right so this is what we use actually there so let's say i am formal right here and here you can see so um inside it uh, let's say not i am form i'll have a lot of things so inside form we have uh, the tag name that is input so let's say input and then type uh, which is text or sometimes you must get the um, options where you cannot write uh, anything except number so that is the type as number so if um, this is going to be there and if i type anything which from my code or from my keyboard it is not going to work but i will write number something it is going to work so this is what type is so i can say text as of now so if it is text so i can write even alphabets or numbers doesn't matter but if it is specifically mentioned that it is a type as a number then nobody can type anything else except numbers right so there are a lot of many things but uh, as of now uh, we are talking about this so we will be covering um, more important things than just going uh, with the different different things right so we'll just move forward and then next we'll be having tag name as text area so what does it do so again you can just ignore this a uh, name id calls row you can just uh, leave it i can say text area so that it will be visible for you so as you can see this is the text area you must have seen it uh, on many websites right uh, many uh, times it's there so it's just that i had to show you that how it looks like so this is what text area is so you can change it the size and uh, everything can be changed by this row and uh, column so this is how the text area tags works next which we have that is called button tag the tag name is button so name itself says that what is this so let's say i'm button and i'll save it 
So you can see there is one button and it's very much clickable, right? But you can see it's getting refresh also. Don't have to worry about all these. It's just that giving an example. So here the button created. So this is how we create buttons on the website. Moving on with the tag name that is called select. So select again inside it we have tag name as option so on the websites you must have seen uh, the drop downs right uh, there are many kind of drop down what do you want like uh, a cold drink cold coffee or uh, anything right so these are the things which uh, actually works there these select also an option kind of thing so let's say we have this and let's say tea and for this coffee or maybe uh, what what do you want cold drink or what else what else you need or maybe we can have only three options we are not so demanding right so let's just save it and we are having the drop down so that is coffee cold drink tea so this is how this select and this option works last but not the least the last tag name which we have that is called label so again the name itself says that we are labeling something we are naming something right so let's say uh, i'll say name and i'll save it so you can see here the name and the input box is given so it is pretty much a clear that you have to fill your name here right so this is how it works this is how this label tags works so you can give the label to your input and uh, i'll just uh, comment out this i'll just comment out i'll say so these are the code i just commented it because of your clarification so you might not get uh, uh, confused so this is how we use all the tags uh, i hope all the tags are clear to you and uh, there will be no difficulty to explore more and uh, yeah that's it followed by all of these tags which we have seen we have more tags as video audio iframe span there are a lot of tags uh, kbd which is for uh, keyboard so you can explore more you can refer the documentation also for any kind of difficulties uh, for today we were having this much of tags i hope this was helpful so people that's it for today i hope you had as much fun as i did if you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful do share it with your friends who might also be eager to learn coding like you and hey wait don't forget to subscribe our channel ah huh? thank you for joining me today and until the next time keep coding keep exploring and never stop believing in your potential so that's it see you in the next